Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers, we are back up in it with the versus video. Yes. High mm -hmm. versus the low. This is the Jordan 33. Versus, or the SE. Or the yeah. S versus the SE. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess they are kind of low if you look at it. Yeah, they're both kind of low. Yeah, so, um, but anyways, $175 versus $160, bucks, 15 dollars price difference, which is... Which is okay. It's not a lot, yeah. you know, but I mean, if you're if you're tr trying to save money, you know, fifteen bucks can you know help you out. You know, yeah. uh, if you guys want to cop either of these, we'll leave links below. But let's get it start off with the traction and same shit. Same same. Yeah. Except this one has an outline of the zoom units, yeah. which we'll get into in a minute. But traction is inconsistent. Yeah, especially on dust. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to wipe off. At yeah. certain points, you think it's amazing. Yeah. It's really squeaky, but then you can slip out, which is not fun. Exactly. So, so inconsistent is the best description, especially on dust. On a clean court, you're going to be good. Yeah. On a outdoor court, uh, I don't know, man. I don't think it'll be very durable, especially the little nubs. I think they'll rip off. Yeah. But if you're just playing on the indoor court, I feel like durability should be good. So traction, a little bit of, di of a disappointment, but it's the exact same. So we'll, keep, we'll give it a tie. Yeah. Moving on to the cushion, same exact shit again. Yeah. Uh, not the best cushion setup ever. Yeah, you got a hex zoom unit in the heel um, and in the large volume in the forefoot. Can't really feel them too much, yeah. to be honest. And at the same note, you don't get a ton of court feel. Um, that probably has something to do with, uh, you know, the fast fit system that's in the in the midfoot here, the, all the mechanics and everything. So, uh, you know, a little disappointing in the, in, the, in the cushion as well. Yes. They're both the same, so we'll tie it up. Yes. Uh, moving on to the upper slash materials, is it different? I mean, okay, so the textile material is basically the same yeah. in area. I mean, the weave pattern, the textile pattern is pretty much yeah, the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, the materials here, I don't know about other colorways, but in this colorway, the material, especially the suede, is real shit. Yeah. Uh, the leather material here on the side panel, and like, I guess, here on whatever this thing is, is a lot nicer. You know, so the leather quality is a little bit better in the SEs. You have also a lot more fuse in the toe area. So yeah. if you do a lot of toe drags and you put a lot of ho holes in here in the toe area, the SE is going to be a lot better and more durable there. Also another difference is the strappy strap. So the yeah. SE has an elastic strap. The 33 has a regular strap and you have to strap that up, you know? You yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like this strap. It's yeah. very annoying. You got to take it off almost all the way off. And almost all the way on to get like an easy you know in and out but exactly so but with this it's just elastic so you just slide your foot in but what's easier to put on the 33 is a little bit easier to put on the se is freaking hard especially yeah. at first dude oh my god um so that i guess that's kind of like a con i mean this strap allows you to pull the tongue out as, as far as possible you can't really do that with this yeah uh so there's that um also another difference is that the Cables are on the inside in the SE, and it's on the outside on the 33. I like it better in the SE. Exactly. I like them hidden, right? Exactly. Like, I don't need to see all that. Yeah. You know, what's under the hood of the car. Exactly. Just hide that. And um, Also, the fast fit system is a little different as well. Yeah. So, in the SEs, uh, the cables connect to, like, this X thing, and that kind of tightens here in the midfoot area, and also in the ankle, as you guys can see, the the uh, parachute cords are exposed here in the ankle area. The 33 just tightens here in the, I guess, midfoot slash yeah. toe area, right? Yeah, the added ankle lockdown in that is, is awesome. Exactly. Definitely an improvement. And also there are Achilles pillows in the SE. Yeah. The 33 is just flat, straight, you know? So that feels a little bit better in the SE as well. So the fast fit system, with the Achilles pillows and overall material quality is better in the SEs. Yeah. There you go. For a cheaper price, so that's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, now moving on to fit. Um, mm. th th this was a little tight for me. Yeah. Um, How was the 33s for you? Uh, okay. I mean, they ran a little long, but you know, I went down half in the um, in the SEs and it was like choked. I was choked out. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of that might be the Achilles pillows pushing your foot up a little bit. Exactly. So there's, it's taking up a little more space in the shoe. So yeah. keep that in mind. Exactly. So, uh, it, I mean, like it's super tight. So if you're normal width foot, I maybe go, it does run long though. It yeah. runs long, but like the width is in like the tightness, the uh, tightness of the shoe and also the fast fit system. Uh, if you don't mind it being a little long, then I would suggest going up uh, or to suggest going true to size. Yeah. Uh, if you're just a wide foot, probably you should just stay away from both of these shoes. 
sure. but what fits my foot better? They're around the same. I, the SEs are a little bit tighter. Though, yeah. So just watch out for that. Support lockdown. Tied up. Yeah. But I mean, the thirty three is still crazy lockdown. Yeah. But uh, the added heel lockdown, which is just insane. Like, and the Achilles pillows. Yeah, the Achilles pillow with the fast fit system being able to tighten up here in the ankle area is just next it's level nuts. shit. So we'll give the overall lockdown to the SE, even though the 33 is still really, really good for the lockdown, mm -hmm. you know? And also both of these have like this weird thing, this weird shape with the protruding zoom unit. Yeah. So it feels a little unstable, a little wobbly. But other than that, support and lockdown is very good. All right, wait. 15.87 which is pretty much the heaviest shoe out yes up there with the, the lebrons versus 14.22 uh yeah so you, you know you get an ounce off right yeah, 1.4 ounces somewhere mm -hmm. around there yeah the se's definitely feel a little bit lighter a little bit more minimal yeah uh yeah the 33s are kind of heavy yeah so yeah so there's that um just step in comfort Tied up. Yeah, tied yeah, up. Tied up. Yeah, not much of a difference there. Breaking time, same. Same, yeah. Uh, you do, you know, shoe could use a little breaking time. Nothing crazy. Does help it out. And also the midsole is a little stiff. Yeah, for you know, sure. Like, it really doesn't want to bend that much, yeah. you know? So they should, they could improve that. Yeah, ventilation. Um, the 33 is a little bit better. Yeah. Like, it, especially right here in the toe area, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the 33 SE has like an underlying material in the toe area. Um, which I feel like does improve durability um, and it's just also a little bit th thicker feeling here But yeah, violation is better than 33. Yeah. So durability Probably about the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same build. Yes. Uh, aesthetics. I like the SE. I like the SE as well um, um, Also another thing is look if you look at it the height of the look at that. It's basically the same. Yeah See that? That's crazy. Even if for some reason, uh, it, the 33 looks like a mid, kind of. I know? love that they got rid of this double tongue, too. Yeah, that double tongue is kind a of A little like, too much. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, you guys already saw it coming. Uh, it's $15 cheaper. Uh, it has a few improvements as well from the 33. Looks better. Looks better. Little lighter. Little lighter, all that. So yeah, just get the SE, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the 33, I mean, they. I feel like they could have improved like, the traction and stuff like that, but I mean... Are they gonna make a new mold? Yeah, at that point, it's like a, almost a different shoe. Exactly. So. so, but they should work on that in the next Air Jordan for sure. Thirty-four, and that is rumored to not look at all like the four. Yeah, they're just making their own shoe. You know what I'm saying? Which is a good good idea. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, Jordan Thirty Three SE for the win. If you guys want to cop either of these shoes, we'll leave links below. But we highly recommend the SE over the Thirty Three. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.